Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Carlos Antonio, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. I'm doing great, thank you for asking me. Okay, okay, and tell me, how's everything? How was the day? Just as usual. Like always, I went to work and I got my haircut. I went to I went to the barbecue shop. Okay. Not not much. How are you? Not much. I'm how do you, fine. how fine. do you spend your day? Well, my day. Uh, oh, oh wow wow man, my day was kind of weird, but. Let's see. I have to teach in the morning, teach in the afternoon, do some evaluation, then come back home, rest for a little while. And I went to drop off my son at the gym. I didn't go to, to exercise today. I didn't feel like I, mean, I was very tired today. And then I just finished the class. And and now I'm here. I mean, I, I had a class from 7 to 7.50. And now here with you guys ready to start to see how do we do. Give me just that one second. Nice, but it, but it looks second. like a tough day. OK, yeah, it is. OK, I'll be here. Just one minute. Okay, okay, here I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Well, uh, Carlos, I was, as I was telling you, to be honest with you, yeah, it was a little bit uh, tough, but I mean, I have had it worse, to be honest with you. There are some days that are a little bit worse than this one. Uh, like, uh, well, Tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturdays are a heavy day for me. It's a heavy day? Why? Oh, because, uh, you know, uh, I graduated from the university like 20 years ago, but uh, now I am back at the university studying another career. But I also teach Saturday in the morning, and I also teach Saturday in the afternoon. And let's see, tomorrow it's gonna be like, I will have class at seven. I will receive a class at seven. That's uh, accountancy. I hate that. Contabilidad. I hate that. Topic. And then I got, oh uh, I have to teach a class at eight, from eight to 10. At 10.30, I have a meeting from 10.30 to 12. At 1.30, I need to go to San Salvador to teach a class. And at 3.30, I need to pass around, no, at 3.30, I finish the class. Around 4, I need to pass by picking up my son at the university. I come back here, hopefully around 5. I'm going to be home. I will have another meeting. And I will be free around 6, 6.30. And I need to prepare classes for Sunday morning. So. Saturdays are crazy because I'm there's no time for your family. Sunday, Sunday, a little yes, bit. Sunday, fun. yeah. How how often do you go out with your family? 
12. Usually I have Sundays free. Now, because I am, uh, I started with a project. I am working with the, um, for a study hall. And in the city that? hall, uh, with a oh, city, city hall. hall. Yeah. It's like go the be. government, it's a government place. Well, yeah, sort of, sort of. Sure. But I mean, they have, they have uh, created a, uh, an academy, an English academy. And in that English academy, I am helping them on Saturdays mornings with little kids, but on Sunday with adults. And with all those- Too many right, income. Yeah, too many expenses, man. Too many debts. That's the main reason. Yeah, but the situation is that uh, on Sundays I'm working with all those. So it, it's interesting, but it's a project that we just started on Sunday. So usually I have Sunday free and like uh, when we get like the, the, the week off from this regular Thursday, uh, I mean, I enjoy that time. We go out like almost every day. We are, we are all, also kind of um, night people. I mean, we enjoy going out at night, uh, going to a restaurant, I mean, and sometimes when we have vacations, the good thing is that we are uh, we are both teachers, so we have time at the same time. Your wife and you. Yeah. That's nice. So around your house is English only. I'm sorry? You don't speak Spanish in your house or with your wife or just English? Well, no, mostly in Spanish. I, I mean, once in a while, I mean, we are passing by, we say some stuff in English. And actually, I speak more English with my son. Oh, that's nice. You don't get confused in your brain? Because when okay. you're thinking Spanish and in English, it's kind of rude, you know, or heavy. I don't know how to explain that word. But that happened when I think in Spanish and English. That gave me some headache sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes what it happens to me, sometimes is that I'm like, if I've been like uh, thinking too much in English and sometimes I don't find the words in Spanish. And it's funny because I mean, yeah, sure. Spanish is my first language. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when you are like doing hard in the other language to go back to thinking in the first one, takes a little adjustment. And you got to remember that some things are easier to be thought and expressed in English rather than in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I know. It happened to me. Sometimes I forgot Spanish word and I don't know how to express, you know. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens. Hey, Carlos. But nice it's funny at the same time. Yeah, it is. It is. Excuse me, what nice. do you say? Nice talking to you. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Holman, how are you? Hi. How's everything, my friend? Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. We will talk later. Don't worry. Enjoy, okay? That's okay. okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Acabo, I acabo. Vine, vine del trabajo, salí ahí de donde mis amigos y dije que solo iba a dar un ratito para distraerme. Y acabo yeah, de... but it took you more. Okay, don't worry, finish. Go ahead. Sí, 
Vi unos tamales ahí en la mesa y agarré uno. Entonces. Ok, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, let's see, let's see. I got more people here, don't worry. I will come back to you. Let's see, Orlando. Hello, Orlando, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm doing well. Okay. What about you? How was your day? Uh, it was a relaxed day. We didn't have too much work today. Um, it, it looked like rain at the, in the afternoon too, but doesn't that rain. And I arrived to the house at 4 p.m. And that's it. You arrive home at 4 p.m.? Yes. Yeah. Cool. What's your schedule? I uh, it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I have the opportunity to finish my route of the work. If I finish, for example, at 3 p.m., I can go home. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. It's because and they gave me they gave me uh for example 10 clients and i just it's just only to delivery that uh that client and then to finish all that all my job i can go home oh as soon as i finish as soon as I finish. Thank you. Okay. That Thank phrase, you. guys. That phrase, guys, means uh, tan pronto termine. Okay. okay. Thank you. No, no, no. You're welcome. It's always nice when we can share a new expression to the rest of the class. As soon yeah. as. Uh, no. uh, That's nice because. With that, we can have more chance to say a lot of things. Yeah, that's the idea, to get more vocabulary. I mean, and it's also good. Sometimes I remember, and believe me, sometimes I get new words also for myself. I mean, we are always learning. We never stop learning. Yeah. Mister, thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, let's see. Antonio, don't worry, don't worry, my friend, I got you. Everything's fine, okay? Let's see. Hey, Gustavo, how are you? Hi, teacher. I feel good. Never better. How's everything? Uh, everything is okay. My day is fine. I stay at home today and me and my family went to the beach in the sunset and that was nice. Oh really? Where did you go yeah. exactly? I here closer in the same town in Playa del Cuco. Okay. Oh yeah you got that chance. <laughs> yeah I'm closer to the beach. You got that chance that you can like just step out and and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice to go out with my family and my daughter. Yeah, that's great. How old is your daughter? Sorry? You, got, you said a daughter? Yeah, I have a daughter. Okay, how old is your daughter? Uh, she has three years old. She is, she is. She is, she is three years old. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, sometimes I think uh, I would have liked to, to have a daughter, but oh, I think at this time I will have also, I will have had to get a shotgun, you know, a gun, <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's because of 
of me, how I am and who I am. So in my case, I feel it's better that I have just one song, one song. Only yeah, one song? Nice. Yeah, just one. Yeah, but how my song is, my song is 20. 20. My son is oh. 20, yeah. Yeah, I got married when I was 23. Or 23. Do, you, do you don't have more, more kids? No, no, we just Anyone. have one. I was, let's see. I was 22 when he was born. My wife was 21 and that was it. <laughs> no more kids. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, the time passes, project and everything. And, and when you realize time has passed and you are yeah. too old, yeah. that happens, that happens. So, so nice that you can enjoy it. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, hey, Magdaleno. What up, my friend? Hey, teacher, I'm here. Okay, no, I, I'm not, it's not what up, my friend. It's like this. Hey, what up, dude? That's what up? Very, 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 very informal. Because okay, it, explain it's to me, please. It's something like, like, let's see. It's, it's like you like, say, it's like you say, que onda? Yeah, but it's not what's up, it's what up. What up? Ooh, what up? Yeah. What up, dude? Dude will be like uh, people, like bro. Sorry, so sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. That happens. <laughs> sorry, I sent you. <laughs> okay, my phone is is in silence. Okay. No, yet yeah, deal is like a, it's like bro. It's like saying bro. So that's okay. very informal. Very very. What's up? What up? Hey. What up, dude? What what up? Is what up? Yeah. What up? What up? Yeah, like if it had an R, what up, dude? Okay. So, I'm what just up? Here. Just here, bang. Just here, kicking it. What? Chilling, chilling at home. Just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so sorry, what is the meaning of chilling? Oh, nice. So they were very informal with Magdalena. Uh-huh. I'm learning a lot today. Just chilling. Well, well, let's see. I don't know if I'm supposed to teach you this. <laughs> but actually, I no, I, well, you got to understand something. According to the manual, uh, we are supposed to be working with formal English, but actually in real life, you need also informal English. Because mm -hmm. you are not always talking with people in a serious environment. Just chilling is like uh, pasándola, tranquilo. Mm, just chilling. Al, al suave. You can say just chilling. Some people say simply, uh, they tell, they ask you, hey, what up? Man, chilling. What you been up to? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Chilling. What have you been up to? What you been up to? How is it going? Uh, kicking it. Kicking it. Kicking it. Pasándola. No, pasándola. Hey, how is it going? Here, kicking it. It means like pasándola, it's just like uh, nothing, nothing special. For us, actually for us, uh, I'm sorry, Magdalena, to include you in the group, but for us older people, 
the equivalent will be something like uh, when they ask you, hey, how are you? And you say, oh, not so bad. We are the, the, the people of the, oh, not so bad. For, for younger people, it's like kicking it, chilling. Okay. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and then I can say, I'm here just chilling, just chilling, is right? Yeah, oh. yeah ne never to your boss, never to the boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the boss is going to tell you, come on, you're chilling, go chill to your house, here it's working. <laughs> yes, I understand that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so teacher. To the, to the boss is not good advice. So, well, actually, we can start heavy for you, right? So sorry, teacher. My son is is entry to is arrived to home in her motorcycle, and I don't listen okay, you. Okay, okay. My son is arriving home. My son is arriving home, and I in don't his, listen you. In his motorcycle. In his motorcycle. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. No, I was telling you that uh, as far as I remember, we can start heavy for you, right? Yes, yes, every weekend. So I I want to tell you what I did yesterday. Okay. Yes, yesterday, yesterday was a, a traveling day. Oh, really? Where did you go? Uh, first, I go to, I went, I went to, to, I went to uh, Peru La Pia. From Peru La Pia, to San Vicente, San Vicente, to uh, La Libertad, La Libertad, to, uh, what is his name? La Libertad to uh, Zacatecoluca and San Vicente again, and after to finish the day, no, after finishing the day, uh, El Opango at 11 at night and you were really driving oh by the way you passed like two blocks from my house <laughs> maybe i passed for no that no or... it's a fact you passed one two blocks from my house i on pa... your way on, on your way to peru la pia mm -hmm. you passed two blocks from my house, Paso los Cuadras de mi casa. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have, uh, we have a coffee in Dub. We will, in we Dev. will. <laughs> yeah. We will. Maybe. We will. Re from her, from Peru La Pia, I use the way to Peru La Pan. Peru La Pan to to use the the way to San Vicente. Well, you know, uh, I work in Perú Lapi. That's the city hall I work with. Ah, really? You work on the city hall? Yeah, and and I also uh, I work I teach at a public school in Perú Lapan. Wow! Amazing. Yeah. Well, this have country a... is so small. <laughs> yes, of course. The, it is so small. And then yesterday was um, uh, a long day, really. In in the in the night, in at night, night, at, at night, night, at night, I don't. I feel don't like anymore. Um, <laughs> make you okay. explain to me explain to me uh, I feel that I don't like anymore sentí que ya no quería más ya okay no I feel that I feel okay no the idea is this let me let me rephrase it for you okay 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 I felt like 
if I couldn't, if I couldn't uh, stand it no more. I felt. That's the way. I felt like if I couldn't stand it no more. Stand it. Ok, completamente diferente que en español. Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot. No, a little. Ok, I, I feel, no, I felt, I felt like if I could understand, stand it, stand it anymore. No, stand it no more. Um, could you help me with the pronunciation, please? I felt like if I could couldn't stand it anymore stand it stand it i felt like if i couldn't stand it and no more okay y eso significa sentí que ya no podía más sí que ya no lo soportaba más que ya no podía más okay it was it was really hard to drive the whole day is it's really, really heavy. I really admire the classmate who can, who have to drive the whole day. It's, it's amazing. Well, nice having you here, mister. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Just give me a second, right? Just one second, one second. Okay, so sorry, my bad, my bad. Heavy or hard? Okay, Gustavo, please give me the context again, please. It's about the, um, who was the last? The what? Who was the last uh, talking with you? Magdalena. Magdalena. Uh, he's talking about drive all day and he say it's heavy to drive all day and the question is is heavy or is hard what was hey. was heavy well, or was hard well it was a it was a heavy situation because it's hard to drive that long. Okay. They are okay. synonyms. The, in this situation, they can be synonyms. Okay. Because you can say it was hard, it was a hard situation because it's very heavy to drive all day long. So if you notice, I can interchange them and no problem. The idea is the same. Okay. It's all about the context. <laughs> no, thanks. no, thanks to you. It's always it's always nice when you bring something like that. Interesting. Hey guys, let me get the attendance so I can get rid of it. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Whoops, 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 whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Hold on a second. Made up the top. Eh, Carlos Celibaldo Abrego Mármol. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Here. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. 
presence. Oh, there, Simon. Thank you, Ivan. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. No se le escucha, teacher. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrey. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, mister. Uh, Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present, teacher. Carla Lizeth García Lem. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabi. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orán. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosal. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you, Mr. Orlando Francisco Muñoz. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosa. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present chair. Yes, Daniel. She's here. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Well, let's see. Still got time. So I can talk with some more. Francisco, welcome. Hello, how are you? Francisco Ayala, good evening. Hello, sorry. No problem, no problem. Hello, mister, how are you? I was sick as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling, I know the feeling. Yes, uh, yeah, I have been a bad day. Okay, okay, but you're doing better now. You are doing better now. You feel better now. Yes, yes. More? Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, yeah, being sick is not good. And I mean, it's like the flu. The flu is hitting heavy right now. Like a lot of people is getting the flu and it's a very strong one. So tell me, how was your day, Francisco? Did you have a good day? What do you say? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? I don't hear. What about your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Oh, my day, but it's boring. All Why? day I stay, I stay in home. 
Oh. Incapacity. Okay. You now a... was my last. A leave of illness. Leave of illness. Eso es una incapacidad. Illness. Because when you get permission from your boss, you have a leave of absence. Cuando tenemos permiso, we usually have a leave of absence. That, in general, in general terms. But a leave of illness is when you are sick. Okay, well. So glad to have you here back in class. Que bueno que me lo acabo de So welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Luis Mario, hello, how are you? Hi teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, what about you? How's everything? Uh, I'm fine. I do uh, arrive now with, uh, to my home. Really, just arriving home? Yeah. In this moment, <laughs> I am I am parking my car. Okay, can you talk now, or would you prefer we have the conversation later? Give me five minutes, please. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. That's okay. Thank Let's you. see, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Okay, chili. <laughs> chili, that's cool. <laughs> no, no, teacher, no, uh, no, not really. Um, running with the mom and reports in my work. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, yes. Very, very hot. Or, excuse me, very, very heavy. Yeah, that happens, that happens. And it's the, uh, I mean, in your case, you are always like that. Your area is like that. Always. <laughs> uh, but the good thing is that you are here. What about what the what about the weekend? What you got for um, this weekend? I uh, I I tengo que ir. I, ha I have go. I have to go. I have to go. Um, in the in the doctor to the doctor to the, i go to the doctor it's a mm, eh, check it up chequeo de rutina how do you say in english okay it's a routine check check up it's a routine, routine check, check up. up okay thank you teacher um okay. Well, that's nice. I mean, it's good. To, to yes, no. Like once in a while, it's okay. Yes, it's a uh, 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 examiners, examiners, medical test, medical test, test. medical test is, is the routine, routine, the routine. Yeah. Well, let's hope everything goes okay. Esperemos que todo vaya bien. Thank you, Ivan, and welcome. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, Hello. Hi, how are you? How's everything? I'm fine. Okay, how was the day? My day is uh, very good. Okay. And tell me, what time did you get home today? What, what did you? What time did you get home today? <laughs> No, what no. time what time did you get home today? 
¿A qué horas llegó? Six PA teacher. At six PM. Sí, yes, teacher. I'm my house. Okay. Wow. A little bit. Is that early or late for you? Eso es temprano o tarde. Is is es temprano, teacher. Uh, my mot motorcycle. Oh, yeah, you're, that's right. You were riding a motorcycle, right? Yes. Yes. Well, so glad to hear that. Welcome to the class, mister. Thank you, chair. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see. Carla, hello, Carla. Hello, Carla, good evening. How are you? Hello. <laughs> How are you, Carla? How's everything? Tell me. How was your day? Fine. Good. What did you do today? Okay, sorry. Um, no, miss. No much? No much. Okay, well, but the yeah. good thing is that you are here in class. Okay, Carla, now tell me, did you do your homework? What? Homework. Did you do the homework? Do you remember your homework? The menu? Um, la de la plataforma? No, I ask you guys to prepare a menu, perhaps for a lunch or for a dinner, that you were going to tell me, to sell me that food, to convince me, to, to invite me. You remember that I was telling you like, like, uh, okay, Carla, imagine that you are inviting me for dinner, okay? Okay. Uh, you're inviting me over for dinner this weekend. Well, no, tonight. Okay, what are you going to invite me to eat? Tell me. I'm not understand, teacher. I'm sorry. You you are inviting me for dinner. Usted me está invitando a cenar. Ah, okay. In this moment, okay. What? What are we having for dinner? Tell me, tell me. No, teacher, I'm sorry. Okay, think about it. Think about it. I'll give you five and you're going to tell me. Okay. Think about okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Luis Mario, you ready? Hi, teacher, yes. Okay, Luis Mario, same situation. That's the that was part of the homework yesterday. Okay, we are having dinner. You are you just invited me for dinner. Tell me what's gonna be there. Okay, uh, with the oh, for to uh, uh, I forgot the the appetizer. Appetizer, yeah. Uh, we have a. Uh, Garlic bread with okay. with fries. Excellent. Do you like? Yeah, sure. Okay. And the main oh, what is what is the next main dish? Word? Main uh, main dish. Okay. For you the can main say dish. you can say main dish or you can also <laughs> say a uh, main course. Course, yeah, main course. Uh, for the main courses. Yeah, we have a a big pizza with with pepperoni, cheese, and and bacon. Okay, sounds nice. 
for the okay. ring. Perfect. Tell me. Okay, for the drink, we have a lemonade with, with soda. Okay, interesting. Is there gonna be dessert? Uh, maybe. Could be um, brownie with, with ice cream, vanilla okay. ice cream. That sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, great. You just forgot one little thing, man. That can never mm. be forgotten. The cup of coffee. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Marlon. Marlon Shanathan. Hi, teacher. Okay, Marlo, same situation. We are, well, up to you. It's gonna be a lunch or a dinner? Dinner. Okay, what's gonna be there? Okay. Uh, this day I want to invite him to dinner at Pizza Hut. Okay. Do you like pizza, uh, pepperoni pizza? Yeah, I love pizza. Okay. And do do you like to drink uh, lemonade or or soda? Um, I rather have soda. Yes, uh, Coca Cola. Or no other. way, Jose. No, no, no. I'm a Pepsi man. No, teacher. Why? It's the best one. I'm so sorry for you. Cola is the best. Uh, that's a big argument. That's a very, very big argument. Okay, keep going, keep going. Tell me, tell me. Okay, I like pizza uh, or uh, pe uh, pepperoni or hamon. And the Pizza Hut is the best pizza of the Santa Ana place. And I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay, you live in Santa Ana. That's yes. nice. Uh, not okay. Is there any other option besides pizza? Other option? Uh, yeah. Papa John's. Okay. No, but besides pizza, apart from pizza. Oh, uh, in Santa Ana City, I Pollo Campero, okay. Burger King, Burger King, and in lugares así, in, in, in Santa Ana, in Metro Centro. Okay, yeah, we're talking about fast food restaurants. Yes. Okay, and besides fast food, are there any other options? Fast food. I got, oh, you got option of parte de comida rápida? Or, um, for example, for example, uh, uh, Mexican food in no, no me acuerdo, uh -huh. no me acuerdo de no, I don't remember the name of the okay, but but you have said Mexican food. Okay, I like Mexican food. Now we are talking. What's your favorite Mexican food? Burritos. I like uh, burritos or tacos. Okay. With, with drinks, uh, lemonade. Okay, yeah. I like burritos. To be honest, I like tacos. But, I mean, the problem is that with tacos, I need to eat a bunch of them, like 10, in order to feel cool. And with burritos, man, one burrito sometimes is enough for me. Why? So, so I prefer for, I prefer for burritos. Me, for me, I like burritos or tacos, but only tacos uh, the the chicken of chicken. Chicken tacos. From, from chicken tacos. Sorry, chicken tacos. Uh, is is my preferred 
uh, dish. Okay, interesting. Chicken tacos. No, man, uh, when it comes to tacos, I like, wow. I like uh, pork, I like, uh, well, cachetes are good. Um, tacos, I like almost all of them. But as I tell you, I need to eat a lot. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, Gabriel. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Gabriel. Tell me, Gabriel. Any suggestions for dinner? Una sugerencia para la dinner. Hi. Hello. Any suggestion for dinner? Sugerencia para la um, um, the bungalows. Okay, where's that? Uh, What's the specialty? ¿Cuál es la especialidad ahí? What can I eat? What can I enjoy? Uh, uh, pupusas. Oh. Pupusas. Eh, coffee with milk. Uh -huh. eh, y otro tipo de plato, pero, pero eso yo más que he ido por, por pupusas. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, so you got the ambient. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's something different. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Orlando. Hi, teacher. Okay, your turn. Okay, I was thinking today to invite you at Sunday for lunch. Okay. Um, I will have uh, some... Where are we going? Oh, are we going to have at your house? Uh, one of your yeah. relatives? No, could be in my house with my family. And I thinking that for appetizer we will have bread shrimps i don't know okay. if you like it yeah sure and some mini sandwich too perfect and for the main course uh, my wife will cook uh, a lasagna okay that's nice and... that's nice keep on keep on and I don't know if you have uh, soda or some juice, night natural juice. Oh, it's okay, perfect. And for the let's see, okay, let me check one second here. Uh, for dessert. Uh huh. For dessert. Will, thank you. For dessert, we will have uh, some ice cream. I, I, but I want to know what flavor do you like more? Anything, anything but chocolate. Okay, sounds good. Because I, I like chocolate, but not in ice cream. Oh, okay. Remember, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just going to make a pause. Okay. Remember, guys, in this sentence that I just said, anything but chocolate, cualquier cosa, pero. Cualquier cosa menos chocolate. Okay. Anything but chocolate cake. I uh, chocolate ice cream. I don't know why. I love chocolate. I enjoy chocolate a lot, but eating it. But in ice cream, I don't know why. Not for me. Just okay. not for me. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. In here, but I like more the mango ice cream. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Something is citric. Mm, so you like the, the, the citrus flavor. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mora ice cream, too. That's my favorite. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you, mister. You're welcome. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Yes. 
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Magdalene, no, you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Always. Okay, Magdaleno, I need you to invite Carlos Antonio for dinner. For dinner? Yeah, Carlos okay. Antonio is right there next to you in my screen, so invite him, please. Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio, I, need, I need a conversation, yes. I need a conversation. Okay. Carlos Antonio, hello. Hello, my friend. Hey, do you want to have dinner with me today? I don't know. Yes, of course. Yes, I want to have a dinner with you. Tell me, what do you have for dinner? I am, think I am thinking about a um, burger in Burger King. Do you like? Yes, yeah, sure. I like it. What it's kind okay, of burger do you have? Hmm. <laughs> Then the most, uh, no, the biggest. I don't know. Oh, I, told, I, told, I told the cheapest. Yo dije la más barata. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like the biggest, uh, the, the ones. What is uh, like that? It's really, really high. The number one, the, the biggest one. I don't know what is. I only said to, to the cashier, this one, please. Only that. Okay. <laughs> but I, I would like to enjoy a burger, but I really love chicken burger. Do you like this no, chicken beef. burger? Yeah, it's, it's very good. Mm, it's okay. I prefer the steak burger. So where are we going to have a dinner? Which place? In your house uh, or outside? <laughs> Wendy's. Okay, yeah, outside, please. Sure. And what do I you prefer. have for, for beverage? I don't know if I if I am correct. Beverage. Uh, what mm -hmm. kind of beverage do you like to dinner? To for dinner. I like to for enjoy... dinner. For dinner. I, I would like to enjoy a uh, natural juice, maybe orange juice. Is is orange. that favorite for me? Is my favorite? Mm, I prefer to my tomato juice. Tomato. Yes, tomato. With salt. It and, sounds weird. And, and British sauce and lemon and other thing. I don't know what what it has. That's a Bloody is, Mary. That's, Maybe. <laughs> that's a Bloody Mary. Know. Just that just that a virgin one. Mm. It's a, you know? Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Well done. Okay. Okay. You know when you're talking about beverages like uh like cocktails, those are called cocktails. A uh, Bloody Mary is uh Yeah, it's tomato juice, pepper, lemon, hot sauce, and alcohol. But if you don't put alcohol, it's a virgin. It's a virgin Bloody Mary. When you order that cocktail and if you say, oh, a virgin one, it means that no alcohol, just the mix. It's virgin. Yeah, virgin. Virgin. Yeah, like in Madonna. In Madonna's song, do you remember? Like a virgin. I don't I don't remember. You are uh I, I, I am, <laughs> yeah, I am too old. I am too old. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> no man. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you let's see. Wise, you are a wise man. Yeah, got to be being that old. Carla, I'm coming back to you. Carla Lisset, hello. 
Hello, teacher. Okay, Carla said. Now, <laughs> finally, I will accept your invitation for dinner. You know, guys, Carla has been trying to get me to have dinner with her for a long while. But you know, I am hard okay. to get. Okay. So, Carla, now that I, you finally convinced me, tell me what you got for dinner. Mm. Okay. I want to invite, invite, invite? invite Jim to eat at the pasteria. Restaurant is Italian. Okay. Uh, it is in the food tour. Uh, Plaza Futura. Okay. Plaza Futura. That's the name. That's a given name. It doesn't change. Ese no cambia. Un nombre propio. Ah, okay. Uh, it is in the Plaza Futura. You can order pizza, spaghetti, soup, salad, panini. Um, okay. Uh, different. Uh, mm. uh, Dishes. Be bebida. Beverages. Mm. Ah, beverages. Okay, what do you recommend me? Uh, me recommend? Um, uh, de entrada, ¿cómo sería? Um, uh, appetizer. Uh, appetizer. Uh, panini. Okay. Panini. Um, uh, second, pizza. Um, it's very much um, mantequilla. Butter? Butter. Oh, yeah. Um, Delicious. I, I like that. I like that. Oh, okay. 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 Um, now, for drinking, what do they have? ¿Qué tienen ellos para de bebida? Eh, bebida. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, este. Do they have? Eh, uh, I don't know. What do you What do you recommend? Use, me? use natural. Natural. Eh, juice? naturales. Really? Yes. Delicious. Mm, no wine? Eh, no. Hay un jugo, pero no sé cómo se dice, que es con, con menta, limonada oh, really? con menta. Yes. Mm, sounds interesting. Yes. Mint. Mint. Ah, mint. Limon, mint. mint. Lemonade. No. Ah. Mint. Lemonade. Mint. Lemonade. Lem lemonade. Okay. okay well, interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Verda. Well done. Okay. Okay, guys. Now. <clears throat> well, wow. Believe it or not, it's time to get the second attendance. I'm flying tonight. Right, I like that. Okay, second agenda. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Right. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Antonio. Uh, Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Yolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué teacher, Rodrigo teacher. Ortiz Monterrosa. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Eh, 
Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Nelson, feeling better? A little, teacher. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, great. Yeah. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Here, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Oscar, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Wilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Oh, my gosh. Great. Ivania Xemile Domínguez Hernández. Okay, guys. Well, 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 activities. According to the, to the class, to the lesson plan, I need to explain a little bit of grammar. I'm going just to touch it today because next week we are going to get immersed in the topic, okay? So right now we are just going to breeze it over. That's all I'm gonna say brevemente. Okay, but you know, if you remember, we are talking about the restaurant industry, right? So we got, uh, in this case, we are talking about these two modal verbs. We got might and could. If you see, they are used to make a formal suggestions or request. We use could to make suggestions, right? Like. Uh, you could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. event. You could generate business in a community event. Now, if you notice, you could talk. It expressed, in this case, it's a suggestion, okay? It's a very formal and polite suggestion. Like, uh, like, uh, let's see, Wilfredo tells me, hey teacher, look, I have a big headache. And I tell him, oh, well, you could take a, a, an aspirin. You see, it's a formal suggestion. Gustavo tells me, hey teacher, look, I am applying for a new job. And I tell him, okay, you could send me over your CV so I can check it out. Perhaps I can help you, okay? Very simple, you are making formal suggestions. Now, uh, I'm sorry, Marlon, Jonathan Gutierrez, I didn't mention you in the panel. But I got you, not, don't worry. I no, got you, not. I got you. Don't worry. Okay, uh, 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 give me just a second. Uh, there's something else that I want to, to point out there. Um, okay. And also, in the explanation, we have a very interesting word. We have bundling, bundling. You see this word? It means like agrupar. That's when you place different products together in order to present, okay? You mix them, that's the idea. But what we are getting into, might. Might, in this case, this word might is used to make, look, 
a request, una petición. Often, when we are making a request, it's used with want or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, in this case, when we use might, we are saying we are making a request, but in a polite way. Estamos haciendo una petición. You have to remember something that might, uh, it's stronger, okay? It's stronger. It's, it, the idea it will express for us is like, debería. Okay. Whereas, could for us will be something like, podría. Could, podría. Might, debería. Okay. It's a stronger suggestion. Es una sugerencia más fuerte than could. Are we understanding that idea? ¿Estamos entendiendo esa idea? They, they are used to express a suggestion, but you have could, it's a soft suggestion. Might, it's a stronger suggestion. Imagine that I, uh, Imagine that I come, uh, we get in a meeting, you know, and my, and I forgot applying deodorants. And it's hot. I'm sweaty. It's smelly. And you know, Ivan, very respectfully, he tells me, a teacher. I am. You know, it feels the smell. You could, you could go to the bathroom and, and apply something. It's making a soft suggestion, right? Magdaleno has been my friend for many years. Magdaleno conozco de años. And he tells me, hey man, you stink. You might want to go take a shower. It's a stronger suggestion. Am I for more direct. That's why sometimes with might we place verbs like want or like. You might want. Quizás podría querer hacer algo, but it's stronger. Okay, it's a little bit stronger. We place the want or like in order to make it softer. Le ponemos el like, que en este caso se convierte en gustaría para que se vuelva un poquito más suave. But actually, the level is stronger. Something that we have to understand is the fact that when we talk about modal, some ideas are a little bit different for us because they affect directly the verb. Let me do it, explain it to you in a different way. Yes, it is a polite way to, to ask for something, mister. Remember, something that we have to remember is that modals are special verbs, right? In this case, we have the modals could, and we have the modal might, right? Now, remember, could, when we use it, uh, when we want to express a suggestion, it's softer. Like uh, I tell you, uh, you could imagine that uh, Carla wants to go to 
to galerías. And I tell her, oh, Carla, well, you could go by bath. It's a suggestion. Or I tell her, or you could call a taxi. You see? It's a softer suggestion. There are options. Now, uh, let's see. Antonio is getting very sick. Antonio está super enfermo. Okay. And I am talking to him and he tells me, man, I am very sick. And I tell him, oh, you might want to go to the doctor. You might want to go to the doctor. This, this idea for us in Spanish is kind of complex. Esta idea para nosotros un poquito más. You might want to go to the doctor because we don't speak that way. We don't have an, an, an specific way to translate it into Spanish because we don't think that way. Nosotros no pensamos de esa manera. Okay. I will switch into Spanish just for one second. Voy a cambiar el español solo por un instante. It's very important that we remember. They don't go straight to each other. No, se pueden traducir directamente. En este caso, cuando le dicen, you might want to go to a doctor, están diciendo, Sería bueno que fuese al doctor. It's a suggestion. Now listen to the suggestion. You could go to the doctor. Podrías ir al doctor. They feel different, right? Se sienten distintos. You feel one that is like stronger, more direct. Hay una que es más directa. Sería bueno que vaya al doctor. Like Magdaleno. You might want to connect to classes earlier. You're losing some minutes. Está perdiendo unos minutos. You might want to connect to classes earlier. I'm kidding, my No, I know that you are connecting on time. Okay? If I tell him, you might want to connect to classes earlier, estoy diciendo, ah, sería bueno que se conectase un poquito antes. But I'm saying it softer, a little bit Lo digo un poquito suavecito. Okay. The next step is you have to. El siguiente paso después del my want to es tienes que. Okay. We are like this. We have could. We have my want. And then we have have to. But have to is right next. Okay. Lo que sigue. Are we, sorry, are we clear? Si no entendem? So, so, okay, don't worry. Uh, you're, you will reach an exercise. Yes, Magdalene? Um, <clears throat> when you say my like is uh, is the same meaning, it's equal. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same. Both. You, yeah, you place like, Okay, you might like to, let's go back here. If you say, you might go to the doctor, you say, say you might go to the doctor, you are saying, debería ser al doctor, this is, a very strong suggestion. Aquí estoy diciendo, Kathy, tienes que ir al doctor. Here, I am saying the same. En esta, estoy diciendo lo mismo. What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? This one, it's more polite. Esta que está en rojo es más amable. Okay. You might want to go to the doctor. 
This is very, very, it's a polite request. Es una petición muy amable. Like, uh, uh, you might, you might like to go talk to your boss about the problems you are having on arriving late. It's a strong. Simplemente te estás suavizando con el like. Pero la frase es fuerte. Don't worry, guys. This topic, next week, you are checking it again. Vamos a retar de nuevo. I will prepare a, well, actually, I have prepared a, a different material so we can analyze it slower, okay? Lo vamos a analizar de nuevo, de una manera más técnica. Okay? So you can take more advantage of it. But actually, that's in your manual, that's in page number 16. And today, we are going to work in page number 14. But it was necessary for me to explain it a little bit because you have one exercise in the platform about that. Okay, now, guys, you are working at a restaurant. Okay, you are part of the managerial team. Son parte del, del equipo de gerencia. Okay, and we got us these two questions. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Those are the questions for you. Do you understand the questions? Yes, I got it. Okay, perfect. Guys, you are going to discuss and talk about it, working in groups. You got five minutes for answering the questions. Let's do it.
examples of new products? Uh, <coughs> I think I, uh, when, when you sell food, it's very common that people uh, want to test in uh, or smell the, the new products. For example, in the supermarket, always in the, I don't know, in los pasillos, como se dice pasillo? The display, display ladies offer the samples. Aisle, aisle. Aisle, okay, excuse me, aisle. <clears throat> offer the sample, I think it's for the, improve the sales. Because if you like, it's a new product, maybe you pick a Bamson for your house. I don't know you, Magdalena. <clears throat> mm, I think that it's a new, it's a good option. It's a really good option for for promote the new product because because people <laughs> can improve, can can taste, and I don't uh -huh. know, uh -huh. I can taste taste uh, the flavor uh -huh. flavor the flavor of uh, of uh, the product yeah and in this case if you have for example a new item of cheese you can gift to the people a uh, little 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 pieces pieces this is little pieces and and they can prove the product the new cheese for example yeah mm -hmm. And Francisco, what about you? Francisco? Uh, I don't understand what you said. Uh, the second question. What do you think about free examples of the new product? Is no, it free samples. Free samples. Free samples. Free samples, right? Yeah, yeah. free. <clears throat> the second question, la segunda pregunta del chat, Francisco. The chat, okay. Let me see. <coughs> Damn, I know. I don't have nothing in the chat. <laughs> no puso, no puso juntos a propósito. Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> Yo ni quiero abrir la cámara porque estoy fatal. I don't have nothing. Sorry. In the Zoom chat. En el chat de Zoom. En la pantalla, Francisco. In the chat Zoom. En la oh, parte okay. de abajo. Look at, ahí está. ¿Ya lo hallaste? My nose is, um, how do you say, teacher, when, when your nose is... A running news. A running, running news. Se me está corriendo. Como un menú, algo así me está diciendo. Un producto, a new product. Un nuevo producto. Un uh -huh. menú, right. How? Okay. How, how would you present a new product? Depends. <laughs> We will we will put uh, perhaps Xiomara, you know, uh, like modeling the product for the people, like telling, hey, would you like a sample, right, Xiomara? And perhaps uh, Carlos helping her, like, oh yes, please. That would be a, an idea. And what do you think about that? Giving out samples, do you think it works? We were talking about pupusas with. Luis Mario. With, yeah. Color with pupusa. <laughs> he has a good, guys, a good guys. Extra, a strategy. Guys, guys, guys. But look for a better product. <laughs> you know, a good one. But we are, we are sure. Salvadorian. That's why we only talk about pupusa. <laughs> yeah. Is the, I, the I best. The best dish in the world. Uh, yeah, I remember why I I feel kind of sad sometimes with this module. It's about food and everybody just talk about pupusa. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let me go check the rest of the groups, guys. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see. We are just waiting for everybody. And here we go. Okay, Antonio, Gabriel, Ivan, and Holman. Tell me, what's the new product you are going to introduce and how are you going to do it? Okay, uh, or, or team uh, management restaurants. <laughs> okay, cool. I decide... Uh, or this uh, emos emos how do you say we Sorry. have decided we have decided we have decided um uh, the new menu uh, i cool advertising in a social network for example okay. facebook instagram whatsapps okay fine and what's the product what is the product uh, oh <laughs> Oh, you didn't choose a product, just the strategies. It's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> okay. A, lot of, a lot of products. Um, okay, so you are going to present in social media. Including a toy. Including a what? Yes. Same for cream. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, sorry. that's fine, that's fine. Let's see. Thank you, guys. Carlos Antonio, Carla, Luis Mario, and Xiomara, tell me what you got for me. Uh, yeah, teacher, uh, I I proposed the, the color, pupusas of colors. Okay. For example, the, the pupusas revueltas with color red, pupusas de queso with color 
the blue and that uh, with different flavors with different colors. Okay, um, interesting. Keep on, keep on. Tell me, how are you going to introduce it to the people? What's the strategy? Are you going to give samples? Uh, yeah, but uh, little samples. Uh, for example, do you know the, the pupusas, the eight for one dollar? Eight for one dollar? They must be like this. Yeah, <laughs> that is the, the size of the samples. Okay. It's nice. only a sample. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's see, Luis Abrego, Oscar Armando, Wilfredo, and Yesenia. Tell me, guys, what you got? Okay, teacher, in our opinion, and uh, I, in, in the first question, I will do a market study to see what type of product people will find most delicious and attractive. Pusimos como una estrategia, no el producto. Okay, tell me the tell me the strategy. Yes, and study uh, marketing. Okay, estudio de mercado. <clears throat> okay, what's going to be the... I put face. Oh, a pair. Interesting. I put face different different uh, products. Uh, y... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Different uh, put face y, y the one. When introduce a new product. Okay. Excellent, Oscar. Now let's see. Thank you, Chef. Francisco, Magdaleno, and Rosalina. Hello. We are managerial teams of a restaurant and we and on a rest on rest and i i forgot the idea in nuestro restaurante in our, in our restaurant, restaurant in our yes. restaurant uh, if we have a new items we put the items in the first page in the menu and uh, Rosalina said, um, "Tell to tell to the waiters waiters uh, that he offer or they that they offer the new item to the client." And and this man, what is his name? The other, the other man who was with us, he said, Francisco, Francisco, Francisco said, um, promote in. We lost you, Magdalena. Yep, he got frozen. Okay, Francisco, what was your suggestion? It is. Oh, there you are. Oh, You're back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is our strategies. Okay, what was Francisco's strategy, Magdalena? I'm sorry that your connection cut short. Ah, so sorry. What was Francisco's strategy, you said? Okay, he he, he said um, promote the, the new item in social medias. Okay. Create one fan page and promote a new one fan, one fan page of the restaurant and promote there uh, the new item. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys, now. We have here strategies to introduce a new menu item. Remember, we are in the manual, we are working in page number 14. So 
The first, the first exercise says check the box next to the strategies you will consider implementing. And we have here different strategies, right? Okay, and, and we have here, provide free full samplings of your new products, add new items to your website, use social network sites to share the information about your new products, advertise the products in the white space of the receipts, or give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Okay. In my case, in my personal case, if you tell me about what would you do to introduce a new menu item, well, I will, well, I will provide free full of free full samplings of the new products. That's a fact. Let's see. Yeah, using social network nowadays, that's like a given. Just another issue, right? You use the social network site to share the information about the product. That's like mandatory now. And um, oh, this one I also like it. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a written visit. Like uh, you come, you came today, and and when you leave, I give you like okay for next time you can have this new item uh, that discount perhaps. Now, our exercise in this case is this. These are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. What action or change will happen? Who will carry it out? When will it take place and for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? Communication, who should know what? Okay. And then you have to number the following steps of the action plan. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. What's that? It's letter C, right? So you text here, letter C. When will it take place and for how long? Oh, the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. So guys, you need to do the pairing, okay? Working again in groups. I'm gonna send you the image. Right about now, so you can have it there, the WhatsApp group. because we are going to do the exercise right about now. So you will have five minutes to put them in order. Remember, you have to analyze the question and see which is the order where it fits with the explanation, okay? Any question? We clear? Okay, perfect.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's here. Excellent. Finish the exercise, guys. Was the time enough? Okay, okay. We're going to do it together here. Let's see. Let me share with you. Okay. Now, let's see, guys. Let me just get you close. Okay. Antonio Rodas, what action or change will happen? A new drink is going to be introduced to the minor. Okay. He says, okay. He says that a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Menu. Okay, that's perfect. Now, let's see. Um, Gustavo Ramirez, who will carry it out? I did share. I think, oh man. In the second, the chef created the receipt for the drink, the manager approved, approved of it, and the ad advertising staff with the responsive, responsible to market product. Okay, let's see. It goes like this. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. This is... Uh, This is letter B. The chef created the receipt for the drink, the manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Excellent. Now, Holman, when will it take place and for how long? Uh, well, I think it's the first. Okay. The first, read it, please. The drink, the drink will be available during Valentine's days in a promotion that continues through February. Okay. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Excellent. Letter C. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, this is, this got to be letter C. Thank you, appreciate it. Now, let's see. Luis Abrego. What resources are needed to carry out the change? Um, okay, teacher. Um, this manager re re requests extra funding for this project. The drink is money with herbs that are somewhat right, but they are not very expensive. Okay, that's correct. The manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. And the last one, let's see. Oscar, would you mind reading the last one, please? The letter E. Yes, read it, please. Adversity Communication. Board on the, okay. Adversity, yes. Adversity board and the staff will stay on the communi communication to carry out the step to complete the introduce of the drain. Okay, that's correct. That's perfect. 
That's letter E. Advertising boring staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. So the order and your drink is going to be introduced to the menu. The chef created the receipt for the drink. The manager approved of it. And the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. The manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Advertising boring staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. And that's the order. Okay. Now, the next exercise, we are going to do it on Monday. On Monday, we are going to also, Monday guys, the, the part of the conversation that we have at the beginning is going to be shorter because we have to cover a little bit more of material, okay? So Monday, we are going to be working uh, with the manual. We need to cover some, some stuff and the rest of the days, we are going to be having uh, conversations, but different type of conversation. I will be bringing topics for conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. No question, topics. It's going to be interesting. We are going to start a new, and um, something new. I hope you like it. Well, it's almost time. So let me guys start getting the final agenda. If you are so very kind. There's a for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Yes, yeah, tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, Sunday. I mean, Monday, I see you. Monday, Monday. Okay, there's no classes for tomorrow. No, you have okay. classes from Monday to Friday. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Saturday is free. Relax, relax. Weekends off. Okay, you're just having classes from Monday to Friday every week. Okay, let's see. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present, teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present, teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Present, teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Marina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterros. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present, teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Os, Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Wilfredo. Nice having you here. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. It was a pleasure. See you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. 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 Happy weekend, everybody.
The same to you guys. Enjoy. What day is today? Let's see. It's fourth. The fourth. The fourth. Consuelo Rodrigo was supposed to be here. So let's see. The Francisco. Well, guys, have a good one. Eh, solo tenía una pregunta. Sure, go ahead, tell me. Este, yo estoy haciendo las tareas, pero no sé si voy muy avanzado o si es que así es, que después de cada videoconferencia tengo que hacer todas las, las actividades que hay ahí en cada una. Yeah, after each video conference, you got one activity, right? Only one activity. Yeah, because right now we are, uh, right now you are supposed to be, I suppose to say in the moment to start. Um, in one second, hey, this one. Because I am in section number three. Why are you in section number three? Relax, my friend. Did you do, let me check on something. Then what is right? Es mucho lo que ha hecho hace el momento, no. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's up to you, actually, to be honest. But let me just check on something. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You are Carlos Antonio Serrano, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but in section two, you are missing a little bit of some exercise. In section one, you will also miss a little bit. Section one, you will also miss a little bit. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay. Look, supposedly, supposedly, today, you are in section one. This is the fourth class, the fourth video conference. So supposedly you have to be in 1.7. But if you can advance, not a problem. Okay. I mean, you can finish the platform right now if you want. But if you want to go over some exercises, that's okay. Something else that you need to understand is that in the platform, don't worry if you get a low score. We can go over it, explain it, and the platform is going to take the highest. La plataforma le va a tomar la nota más alta. Okay? So you can repeat and repeat. That's not a problem. Okay, thank you. Oh, thanks to you. Is that all? That's all. That's yeah. Thank you. Have a, mm -hmm. have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Okay. Thank you. Same to you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Hello.
teacher, I had to buy something. Sorry. No problem, no problem, Jose. Let's do something. I almost like it. Oh. Because you were a time for today, right? Yes. But it it's the time for the platform to close it. It's almost done. What about if I reschedule? ¿Qué le parece si lo reprogramo para el 9? Para el 9, ok. ¿Es eso ok para ti? Sí, sí. El 9. Perfecto. Sí. Yes. So we can take advantage of some time and we can cover a little bit more. Y podemos cubrir un poquito más. Ok. No problem, no problem. I'll be waiting here for you. Acá lo espero. And remember, Recuerden que lo que le escribí el otro día para los jueves. Podemos hacer sí, eso sí. y así no se ve afectado. Va, perfecto. Gracias. No, no, a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Oh, remember. Mm -hmm. 